going to deliver as many units at launch as you may be anticipated. Um, you've caught a lot of flack for the price of the PlayStation 3. How do you see those two factors coming into play over the long-term lifespan of the PlayStation 3? I think that there's no doubt we've um, done a, a better job today explaining the full PlayStation 3 story than perhaps we did at E3. And it's all about value, it's not about price. It's about does this game system represent great value to me as a, as a player? And I think we've answered that unequivocally today because you've got the functionality of the machine revealed in a bit more detail than perhaps we've done before. Um, you've got the full HD experience shown and unequivocally clear for everyone to see. And you've got a catalog of games which I believe is astonishing for the launch of a system and is only going to get better. So I think that uh, those factors combined mean that PlayStation 3 uh, as a system is kind of on the starting line now and I'm, I'm very happy about where it's going to go from here. What you have with a PlayStation 3 is an integrated system where not only as a Blu-ray movie player do you get the full 1080p experience through HDMI. As a game developer, I absolutely need Blu-ray because the games for PlayStation 3 eat so much data that we need the disk space. Resistance Fall of Man, which is playing in the corner over there, is already over 20 gigabytes. And that's at a launch title. So we will be coming up against the 25 gigabyte limitation relatively quickly. I'm pretty sure that when we're here a year from now, we'll see games that are closer to 50 gigabytes. And that's a natural evolution um, for uh, the console. With regards to 1080p and other systems, PlayStation 3 is the only console, in fact it's the only consumer real-time CG device that is capable of rendering a true 1080p image. Not a scaled up image, but a true 1080p image. And while that might not be completely relevant for every consumer, and I do respect that, those consumers who have invested in a 1080p panel and over the coming months and years that will become the standard panel that you buy, um, they will want that content in 1080p. So we're delivering a consumer need. Phil, I've had a chance to play around with the new PlayStation 3 controller with the Till controls. Um, I'm not 100% convinced yet that it's, it's something that I really would want to spend a lot of time playing with games. How do you react to the fact that a lot of people think that maybe that was a knee-jerk reaction to the popularity of the Wii controller? Well, I can understand that reaction, um, but I believe that adding the six-axis functionality to the PlayStation 3 controller is a great win for gamers. Um, what that allows gamers to do in expressing their movement as well as traditional button configuration and stick configuration is very natural, very good feel. Um, and a lot of the games are exploring this functionality um, and we're starting to see some really interesting applications of it. Have you had a chance to play with Flow, for example? No, I haven't. Check it out. Really, really interesting. It just It's the first time you play a game where you actually forget that you've got a controller in your hands and it just feels totally natural. We're starting to really demonstrate what that uh, functionality brings to gameplay um, and we'll continue to demonstrate that. It's going to be really hard to get a PlayStation 3 at launch in the United States. When do you expect people will be able to just walk into a store and pick up a PlayStation 3? I can't answer that, I'm afraid. I, I don't run the hardware supply business, but obviously we're doing everything we can to match demand with supply.